right, boys and girls, it's a beautiful day here in sunny Phoenix. How's everybody doing today? Yeah, I accidentally deleted all my footage from yesterday, so whoop de doo who cares? Well, today I'm just going to talk about how I hate the EPA. They make everything worse for people that like performance. Because let's look at it this way. A uh, good motorcycle or to get the best performance and still not be wasting fuel you gotta have two less parts of air than what is normally required than, well then what is required by the EPA the EPA requires everybody to run at 14.7 which is too lean but that but then the fuel burns a lot cleaner so yeah what do you do who cares yeah, let's care let's take care of our environment but but the issue with that is when you run too lean you can blow up a motor so a lot of people they'll go out and they'll richen it up they'll add a little bit more fuel bring it to 12 point like I think it's 12.5 which is the best area for air to fuel to work so well for power obviously not for taking care of the government or the environment but I would much let's look at it this way even though yes we will be burning more hydrocarbons yes but if we keep blowing up motors we are destroying the government as well because when you blow up a motor then a whole bunch of oil dumps out on the ground Ooh, wow that looks a lot worse than just some stuff going into the air emissions is a joke I don't like it I'm I'm, I'm in school to be a Harley tech right now and they're teaching us that we like even when we tune we have to keep everything at like 12.7 to 1 for so that way it meets EPA but I'm going back to Ohio where we have no emission standards so I don't care I believe 12.5 is the best ratio anybody that doesn't believe anybody that doesn't think the same I know a lot of you guys out here that are gearheads or what, what they like to call across the pond, petrol heads. Uh, you guys would probably agree with me. But, on the other news, I got a new mic today. My new mic came in. I got the Purple Panda. And I got that big, and uh, for those guys that don't know, the Purple Panda is a really cool mic. It comes with a really good wind deflector or windscreen it's like a big purple fuzz ball it's cool right now it's like going like straight into my mouth it's pretty funny is that a Ferrari a Ferrari in the downtown ghetto Phoenix I bet you I can beat him look at that pretty car I think that's a 488 Carbon ceramic brakes, thinks he goes fast. Except I bet you he doesn't go actually go fast. Oh, that's a pretty car. I'm gonna try and get him to race. <laughs> I didn't realize I was in neutral. Fuck. Oh well. Really? Yeah, 
the Purple Panda's a cool mic. It's great. Uh, it actually comes with like GoPro mounts and lapel clips and all that kind of cool stuff that everybody likes. It comes with an adapter, comes with a whole bunch of stuff to make my audio quality a whole lot better. So now, you guys can actually understand what I'm saying. Dang it, I didn't even get it to come up at all that time. person was coming up on me like they were a cop. Why is this person following me? Get off my butt. Swear to God. It's finally legal to lane split here in Phoenix, Arizona. About time, right guys? Well, I'm gonna hop on the highway and I'm gonna head back to my house. But I'm exactly, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. But, this should be a nice quick little 15 minute ride. I promise Mrs. Darkside. I like a Trump guy. But, new bike has finally been decided. Got decided last night. Uh, the person I'm buying it from gave me the story of why he's selling it. So, that's the bike I'm gonna go with. It's a 2002 Ultra Classic with only 25,000 miles. For those of you guys that don't know, 25,000 miles is pretty low mileage for a ultra classic, for a big for a big Harley bagger. There is only one thing I'm going to have to do to that bike, and it's probably put a new chain tensioner in it. Even then, I'm not worried because I'm I'm perfectly fine with changing t chain tensioners. That's a, that's like a quick 30 second job. Because you don't have to mess with anything. You just got to take off like 10 screws and then another two screws underneath and then you put a new tensioner in. That's it. It's great. But there is one other thing. Uh, I will be, once we get the bike, I will be recording with Mrs. Darkside on the back with me. And I kind of want to hook her up and see what she says. She thinks it's an old man bike, but I'll tell you this, she's gonna feel a lot more comfortable on that than she will on this. But I will probably be switching up what I ride, like daily, so there will, I will probably start posting daily videos. Because there's always something fun to do on a motorcycle. Not that very many people know that, but there always is something fun. I'm going to be helping somebody out. Uh, this person's got medical bills they have to pay, which is what what is what they what was told to me. And little and Mrs. wants me to get a new Harley. Well, wants me to get another Harley because she's tired of not being able to ride with your boy. Little does she know, I can still do some hood rat crap on a on a on a Harley. I've done it. I've done it before. My my old road, the old road king I had, and my old Dyna. I was doing hood rat crap, going like 120 in the streets and stuff, drag race and all that kind of stuff. It it was fun, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna scare her off the bike. It is a big touring bike. It's not meant to go fast. It's meant to have. It's meant to to enjoy and relax a nice ride, long distance ride, but. 
Okay, a ride is a ride, right? So, I'm about to hop on the highway, and we'll see how the audio turns out with this purple panda, because I want to see how it turns out. Oh, I think that'd be great. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how this audio turns out. I'm surprised. I've, I got more views on my videos where nothing crazy happened than the one where I almost got killed. What the heck? I'm not good at editing, but hey, come on, cut your boy some slack here. I'm a one man show right now, that's all I am. Everybody else are just my friends and we like to go ride. One of them still needs to get me the his footage of my wheelie last time I did one with him. I don't care that you're trying to get over. Alright, I'm back. I thought it was a... I heard a phone call. It wasn't a phone call. I am about to hop on the highway and let's see if you guys can hear me on the highway. I know you could with my own mic, but that mic's audio quality wasn't as good as this one. This one's a lot better. And what I will probably do is uh, once my uh, setup looks a little bit more professional, my setup looks like a beginner did it right now because I have my, my, my GoPro mounted using a uh, high quality construction adhesive. Should be fun. Oh, the Toyota! Toyota! Oh, I love when people do that. Oh, I didn't realize you can get on from 40th Street. But the Ultra Classic you guys might like because uh, it's cheap and I'll take you guys along on the on what we're going to be doing with it. I'm probably going to do a 98, 98 cubic inch kit on it. Tire burner. That should be fun, right? Making a big bad Harley. Making Harleys fast again. That would be fun. So yeah, they're just rolling through it. <laughs> they must know me. Yeah, I was going to smack their mirror, but I wanted to give them a good piece of advice first. This guy, he shouldn't be taking up two lanes. Ah, yes, the power of the Zelita bike. Oh, there goes a copper. He getting somebody. went in to. I ain't going that way. Eh, yeah, fuck that. Oh, 
he, he's got somebody pulled over. Whoops. Doing a wheelie uphill is always fun, but very dangerous. No, today's gonna be a good day. Uh, got a birthday party to go to. Uh, I'm not gonna be recording that because uh, I was asked not to. That and this whole channel is about my anonymity. Anonymity or whatever it's called. Me, I'm trying to re remain anonymous. For, Here's what I'll do. I will do a face reveal at 1 million subscribers. That's what I will promise to you guys. If that happens. If. Because right now, I just have fun. I just have fun riding around talking to you guys. And most of the people that are following... Already know what I look like. So, those of you that know me, you're you'll be lucky. You guys are the first ten. Me, 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 me. That was a good wheelie, though, wasn't it? I bet you the homeless camp is still there. Man, I really did. I really did on that launch earlier though. That was pretty bad. I'm so mad. I'm kind of mad at myself for that because I know I can do better. One thing I've noticed with bikes is things happen a lot faster when you're on a bike than it feels. It, with, with as long as I've been riding, that wheelie I just did felt like it was like a whole minute. I don't know why, but I, don't, I know it was only like a couple seconds, but it felt like a whole minute. Which I have never understood. Let's see if this uh, homeless camp is still here. Oh my look, somebody's going into a strip club. Yeah, I probably can't say that. Uh, it's still kind of here. It's still kind of here. They just keep moving around in the lot. Dark side.